While all of the Class 1s of the United States have some form of business train, none of them stand out the way Kansas City Southerns does. Inspired by the iconic Southern Bell passenger service from Kansas City to New Orleans, the business train is an excellent callback to the glory days of passenger rail service. The Bell is the pride of the KCS fleet. With luxurious interiors to match the impressive exterior, the train is used for executive meetings, business trips, and is also in charge of pulling the annual Holiday Express throughout the KCS system. Rail fans are always eager for a chance to snag photos or video clips of the OCS, and beginning on April 30th, 2021 and going into early May, multiple opportunities would arise. A little after 7 a.m., the trio of classic F-unit locomotives would slowly bring our train out of the yard limits to begin a run from Shreveport down to Laredo, Texas. Once in Laredo, executives will board the train and get settled to begin a four-day tour of the KCS mainline from right next to the Mexico border all the way up to the headquarters in Kansas City. KCS number two, branded as the Shreveport, is leading the deadhead run south. You'll notice that the passenger consist has been set up in reverse with the Arthur Stillwell observation car being just behind the power. This is to avoid having to wire the entire train down in Laredo and just have the locomotives perform a simple runaround maneuver. The Bell has been in charge of the business rail trip since the 1990s. The F units were once painted in a sharp black paint scheme to completely match the passenger car fleet. It wasn't until the 2000s that the KCS 1, 2, and 3 would receive the iconic Southern Bell paint. Here we see the bell passing a grain train toward Control Point, Texas Avenue, where here it will turn southward towards Beaumont, Texas. would work in a few hours in rainy weather to the south. I'd snag the deadhead run one more time on the south side of Shreveport and Forby, but it would only be a few days later where I'd find myself a good ways down the Beaumont subdivision to follow the OCS back up to Shreveport.
Now this is how the tour of the KCS system worked. The first day consisted of a run through South Texas from Laredo up to the KCS yard in Kendleton. Day two would be Kendleton up to Shreveport. After tying down in Shreveport for that night, the business train would head north out of Shreveport to the Hevener, Oklahoma. And for the final day, the business train would arrive into Kansas City after a well over 1,000 mile trip. I was able to make it as far down as Anacoco, Louisiana on May the 4th thanks to the severe weather and southbound trains holding up the OCS. While the overcast faded away as the train was approaching, the photographer side of me was annoyed that the sun would cast a layer of shadows on our side of this bridge, but the video footage made up for it. KCS-1, labeled as the Michael Haverty, is seen leading the train over the creek. The OCS would take the siding in Anacoco to wait on a southbound grain train. This would give rail fans some extra time to pick away some weeds and brush to ensure the perfect shot along the Hornbeck curve. Our southbound came easing by in the form of a grain bound for Mexico. Along with several other rail fans, our next location is Zawale on a pedestrian bridge. Unfortunately, I didn't really consider the stability of the bridge as the train went under, so I apologize for the clip shaking this.
final location would be where I ended my short southbound chase just a few days ago in Forbing. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video on the iconic Southern Bell KCS business train. With all of the merger talk, you never know when it'll be the last time this train moves. As always, thanks for watching.